look, I'm not kidding. We've just spotted this snake. This one. So in the Ringelnatter, it's even poisonous. What? We spotted a baby one, didn't we? But it was squashed. What? It was squashed on the road. On the way back, I might show them. This oh, is yeah. the squashed oh, yeah. snake oh, we saw. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Poor little bugger. We had left Saxon, Switzerland and made our way back to Chemnitz. My dad was happy to have us back home because soon we would be leaving for Australia again. We had a couple more things planned before our departure, one of which was to visit the local animal park showcasing European wildlife. So we have come to the animal park here, the Wildgatter, and I think it's very, very hard to spot animals because it's so much like in nature. We're in front of the lynx enclosure, but I really don't know if we'll get to see one. But it is lovely here, it's so quiet, it's nice and calm. And we did see some animals already, so um, we're going to have a little snack here in front of this lynx enclosure and maybe we get lucky. Also they're supposed to be wolves, but again, not yeah. sure if we get to see them either. Just as I talked about the wolves, um, that we might not see one, we just spotted one, he came right up. She found a nice stick and now it's down there, down there in the water, down there somewhere. Fell in. <laughs> we'll find a new one, Izzy. Rejoice, everyone rejoice. Izzy's found another stick. Uh, what's that? Hi. Oh. Hi, Is that an owl? Oh. <gasps> Clara is absolutely thrilled. There's oh. two owls. scared to come close to actually eat it but by the time they're gone they're probably going to come closer and eat but it's a good little activity it's so cute <laughs> go slow <laughs> mm. we had a little accident here didn't we now we've got a unicorn at home last time someone had a horn like that it was Clara in Austria guess yeah. what happened you stood on the part of this chair and then you went bang bang, chin, forehead on the table. Oh dear. So Izzy was bruised and to my dad's horror, our rapidly approaching departure was looming just beyond the horizon. Spending time with the girls in any way possible was at the forefront of everyone's mind. Good morning. <laughs> We're in the car. And we are going on a little adventure. We're going to a little um, picturesque castle, or fortress really, Burg Scharfenstein, no? Yes. Yep, Burg Scharfenstein, which is not too far, and apparently it's really, really pretty. My dad had really been wanting to take the girls there before we'd leave. He had visited it together with my mum when she was still alive, probably both imagining how much Izzy would enjoy this. To me, it felt nice making it a reality, almost a bit like my mum was there with us that day. We've arrived and we are going up to the fortress now. It looks very pretty from the distance already. All right, we need to get up there. Jesus, it goes up quite a bit. Pretty exhausting. Whenever we walk, I always wants to hold my hands like this, very cute. <laughs> the fortress itself was pretty old. Dating back to the 12th century, it has exchanged hands many, many times. It also wasn't always used as a fortress. In the 50s, a special children's home was established here for maladjusted boys. And in the 60s, it was converted into a detention center for juvenile delinquents. After extensive renovations, the fortress is now home to a toy museum and various exhibitions. Right, well, we're going up in 
into the castle fortress thing. Let's see. It really was a family-friendly castle with little activities for the kids and adults around almost every corner. <laughs> Clara, come on here. Do you want a helmet? No, she's running. Oh, yeah. No. <laughs> I would have made a very pretty night. <laughs> now you can think I'm in Vietnam, but this is this was a peasant hat. All right, now I'm a. Uh, I don't even know what I am. A marked, a little house lady, or something maybe. We're going into the Toy Museum. The area we're in, it's like the Ore Mountains, is really famous for its woodwork. So we've got, um, especially around Christmas time, they've got those pyramids and stuff like that. So they've got and nutcrackers and anyway, it's heaps of stuff around here. The art's historical origin is closely linked to mining for ore in the area, dating back to the 12th century. But with big fluctuations in the economy, people had to look for replacement income, which the highly artistic woodwork provided for them. The motives of the ore mountain wood art still have a close connection to mining and the working and living environment of the miners. Typical creations include Christmas decorations and products such as wooden miners' figures, nutcrackers, smoking figures, candle arches and pyramids. This work is now so popular that one in every fifth product is being shipped overseas. On the top floor of the fortress was a bit of an interactive area with a big open play space. So far, this fortress had been the right amount of looking at things and interacting with things to keep most kids happy and engaged. And because of its small size, nothing was too overwhelming. We certainly enjoyed the play space and the simple activities on offer. We're having great fun here. <laughs> I've built this little structure. So you can put the ball up there and then it goes all the way down here. That's it. Oh, Any other one? Oh, After a little lunch break in the courtyard, we explored the wells above and below ground. Look at that. Oh, look at the floor. So now there was only one thing left to do for us. All right, right now we're going up in the tower. Here we go. We're up on top. What do you think, Clara? Do you oh. like it? Is it good? Yeah. Yeah? Alright. That's it. Bye bye. Fortress. We're going back to the car. And hopefully, this one won't fall asleep just yet. And we'll wait until we're at home. But I'm not so sure. Back home, the kids still had a lot of energy. So Dad came to the rescue with a good old play fight. Please join us next time where our time in Germany will come to an end and we'll be making our way back home to Australia. See you then. Bye. Try and get my nose. <laughs> <laughs>